I'm Annabelle and welcome to Meepo Village. Today we're going to be doing a full run through of Marvel Dice Throne. Thank you to all of you who requested that I play this game. Join me at the table and let's play Marvel Dice Throne. All right guys, I have the game set up and ready to go and it's very easy to set up this game just because of the way that it comes in uh, every character comes individually packed. If you want to see that in full detail, there is already an unboxing on the channel, so you can go check that out. Before we start, a very special shout out to Manuel Egro because he actually was one of the viewers that um, asked me to do a playthrough of this. And also, uh, our characters today are Thor and Loki, and that is because Larry Osborne, one of our viewers, asked us to play with those two characters. So we're putting uh, a sibling rivalry <laughs> is going to take effect here in a minute. Now, uh, let me show you what I've done with setup again. It's really easy. Uh, everybody starts with uh, two CPs, so uh, combat points, which is effectively mana, the stuff that you use to uh, purchase better abilities, uh, cards, etc. We are supposed to start with 50 HP, 50 health in a player versus player, but what I've done is today I'm only going to start at 35 because that will make for a shorter video. It'll still show everything the game has to offer. I just pretty much lowered it a little bit. And you can, I suggest you do that if you don't want a long game, if you want to make the game a little shorter, that's a perfectly well way of uh, doing that, just starting with a little bit less health. So for uh, Mr. Loki over here, he's got his dice up there ready to go, his cards, which we're going to shuffle. And, you start with four cards in your hand, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some face up. I'm the only player, of course. This is hidden information, so they're not supposed to be face up. But um, you know, that way, you guys can see and probably strategize better than me because I have to run two things, and so do you. Uh, so just looking at what he got, I can tell he got an upgrade for one of uh, his things. And the, the cool thing about these cards is they always tell you when you can use them. That tells you that's an upgrade. This one tells you you can use them, uh, I think that's any time. Let me see. If you read them, it kind of tells you. Choose a card that costs, yeah, that's during main phase. There's that M down there, the blue M. That tells you you, you can use those cards during, during the main phase. And, and you'll understand that when we start playing. And then these are for the uh, roll phase. And it tells you roll phase action. So when you're rolling, you can use this, this particular card. Uh, so he's got his four starting cards. He also has a couple of tokens, three tokens to be exact. And over here, right where the tokens go, see how they match the icons? It explains what the tokens do. So it's very easy, you don't have to, uh, I mean, you do have to learn the rules, but the tokens you don't have to know before you start playing. You can just learn them with a new character. And also I really like what they do here. They, what they do is they show you the faces of your die. So we know that, you know, he's got uh, two of these helmet things and then he's got two of the white things, but only one orange and one black. And it also tells you the numbers. Uh, because the abilities that you're going to be using, you're going to have to either match the symbols, for example, this takes two of the white and two of the helmets, or you're going to make straights, one, two, three, four, or larger straights, one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six, etc. So, um, actually, those are the only options for that one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six. So, let's deal with Mr. Thor. And what I'm going to do is ask the abilities show up. I'll uh, go over them a little bit more in detail because if I start explaining everything, <laughs> we're going to be here a long time. So same thing, he starts with 35 HP, again, supposed to start at foot with 50, two combat points or mana, whatever you want to call it, money <laughs> even. His uh, tokens are on the board and all of his abilities here. Now it's important, there are some characters, I do not think any of these guys have that, but there are some characters that have some passive abilities and they're going to be a different color, but these blue ones, um, which in Loki's case, it's, it's very confusing because uh, the green, or you know this this kind of ability over here, is his defensive ability, which Loki has as well. And that's what you roll when you're defending against an attack. The rest are attacks. Let's go ahead and shuffle. And of course, that would all make sense again as we play. Uh, in the middle, by the way, they have an ultimate attack. 
I've never been able to roll that yet. <laughs> I've played the game a few times <laughs> and uh, I haven't been able to ultimate yet. But, you know, like the name says, ultimate is a very powerful ability that cannot be defended, uh, cannot be modified unless it's to make it better, uh, cannot be avoided, it's, it's like crazy. It can, it can really, uh, if, if you can roll that well, <laughs> which I, I can't. But anyway, so here's Thor, he's got an upgrade and he's got uh, something that he can use during the roll phase, another thing during the roll phase, and uh, another upgrade. So, And actually, he, he got his upgrade for his defensive ability, so very cool. Alright, so I think with that, we are finished with setup and we can go to gameplay. So here's a look at the turn order. Uh, we're just going to look at it once and then I think you will be able to keep up, and if not, I'll help you do that. Uh, so remember to check your passive ability, but of course, like I said, we don't have any. Then we're going to go to upkeep phase, income phase, but the first player skips this. So that's kind of like the advantage of uh, going first. You get a little bit more advantage because you are hitting first. So you don't get your income or your upkeep phase. Of course, at the beginning of the game, there's really nothing to upkeep. Then we're going to have a main phase where we can play abilities, play cards, sell cards, then we go into the meat and potato where we can do offensive rolls. We're going to roll three times, up to three times. And then um, we're going to attack, of course. And then there's the defensive roll for the player that we're attacking. And then we have kind of like a magic gathering, a second main phase where we can do the same things we did in main phase one. And then discard if we have more than six cards. And that's really it. That is the game. Let's go ahead and do it. We have to see who is going to be first. And the way you do that is you roll one die. Uh, and you just see who got the largest number. So. Alright, looks like Thor is going first. He got a 6. Loki only got a 3. So Mr. Thor is going to go first. And again, because he's first, he's going to skip the upkeep and the income phase. So he's not going to get uh, more mana and he's not going to get extra cards. Which Loki will when his turn comes around. Uh, uh, Thor is all about having a bunch of cards because he can throw his hammer, which I cannot pronounce, which I'm not even going to try, um, and, and do some damage that way. So he's really good at uh, drawing cards. But uh, today, what he wants to do, the first thing he wants to do is probably upgrade. Let me just leave him here so you can see them. And you'll notice that this uh, upgrades, let's see, for example, this one is the Odin Force 2. What you do is you just cover the one that's on your board. Uh, of course, you have to pay the mana price, which is two. And it's the same symbols. It's just that the ability gets a little bit more complicated, <laughs> hence better. Uh, so that's kind of how you upgrade. Uh, I think we are going to upgrade our Thunder uh, Wheel 2 because they're going to attack us. That There's just no other way around it. So we are going to go ahead and spend two mana. putting us at zero. And again, this is my main phase. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm playing cards, I'm getting ready to attack. And then we cover the thunder wheel that was on his board, making it better. Let's see. Instead of three dice, now he's rolling four dice. Uh, it looks like the rest is about the same. Prevent two. Yeah, I think so. Uh, on oh, This one changes a little bit. But um, yeah. Upgrading that is good. Now the other thing that we can do, we're down, we have no mana. So the other thing that we can do is we can sell these cards. And I noticed this one, for example, it says, uh, play only when being attacked. If the incoming attack would reduce your health to zero, roll and die, blah, blah, blah. It's, I mean, it's going to be a while until we are anywhere near using this card because they're not, they're not going to hit us for 35 right now. So I think I'm gonna sell this one to start getting points. Of course, the other thing I can do with my card is discard it to use my hammer. Uh, but I think uh, right now I want points because I would like to uh, soon upgrade my Odin Force. And actually, I can probably sell this one too so I can do that before I attack. This one says a ch uh, chosen player may perform an additional roll attempt of up to five dice during their uh, offensive roll phase. So this will let me re-roll. Uh, but what do I want to do? Do I want to reroll one more time or do I want to get my Odin Force in play? I think for now we're going to get the Odin Force in play. So we're going to go to two, but then there is immediately we're going to spend it. 
and go back down to zero so we can uh, put this into play. Auto enforce two. So like I showed you guys, it goes here. And now we're done with our main phase. So after our main phase, we're going to go to the attack phase where we're going to just roll. <laughs> we roll the, all, all of our dice and then we can re-roll them up to three times. If we're happy before that, then we stop rolling. So let's see what Thor gets. Well, he got a bunch of hammers. <laughs> let's see. So we're looking, you see that every all these dice have two different things on them. They have a symbol and they have a number and we can use them for their symbol or their number. Usually you don't use them for both. So what we need to do is match these things to the items that are on our board. Now I can go for like a basic attack and uses a lot of hammers. I already have four hammers. Uh, I can try and get my own force since I just upgraded it and I did get one of these. Problem is, of course, I might do that and then <laughs> not get what I need and get nothing at all. But I think I want to try my new uh, super, super, super power. So I'm going to, let's say, I'm going to keep this one. And I only need two hammers. So let's keep two hammers. Let's keep the one and the two because maybe I can get a small straight if I don't get the symbols that I need. I already have a four, so I have one, two, four. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. Let's put it like this, I think. All right, and I'm gonna reroll this and I get two chances. Okay, well, here's another. Actually, I got it. I definitely got it. I have the hammer and I have the helmet. And if we come, uh, actually, no, I don't have it. I need three of these. So I still get one more reroll. Can I make it? Well, I'm definitely going to try. So let's see. I did it. I didn't get it. I got another hammer. Uh, all right. And I don't have a straight either. I have one, two, four, five. So that's not going to help. So then I have to go find out what I can do with this. I think the best we can do <laughs> is right over there with the uh, oof, hey, hammered. hammered? Um, so we are going to use that because there's really nothing else with these results. Uh, if I would have gotten a lightning, I would have been able to do a mighty summon, but I didn't. So we're going with that. We have to give the opposing player a chance to modify, change my dies, any, anything they want to do, any evil plans. But Loki's thinking that is like the worst attack that Thor has, so let it come. Does he have anything that can help him right now uh, prevent? Let's check. No, he really doesn't have anything that can prevent any of that damage. So he's going to go ahead and Thor is going to say, okay, well, here it comes. We're going to deal four damage. And you notice those symbols. And that's one of the things about this game that is, um, you kind of learn it. I mean, I don't know if you ever learned it, but if you don't play it for a while, you're gonna forget it. There is a chart that shows you every type of damage and what can happen to it. Let me show it to you now. So this is a chart I'm talking about. There are a hundred different damages in this game, about a hundred, but you know, there's normal damage and that can be defended, that can be avoided, modified, blah, blah, blah. There's undefendable, pure damage, collateral, ultimate. And that's great, but aside from that, you have to learn what the symbols are. And for that, you have to go here. Normal damage has that symbol. Undefendable has that symbol, and then it says undefendable. Pure has that symbol followed by pure. Collateral followed by collateral. So, and then ultimate is, you know, that one right there. So, um, you know, it's, actually it's that one right there. Yeah. So anyways, uh, a lot to remember, really. Um, but it's, most of the damage you're gonna be dealing is going to be normal damage. And right now that is that. Is that. It is uh, normal damage. We're dealing four damage and we are throwing our hammer over there. Now, if you come over here and you read the hammer, when you throw or re retrieve it, um, you, can, you, you may throw or retrieve it by discarding the card, uh, or if an ability tells you to throw it or, re or retrieve it, you don't need to discard a card. So the ability that we are using uh, is not asking me to, to discard a card. And then when you throw it, you place it on an opponent and you deal one and see there's that red. <laughs> I believe this is collateral damage as an isolated source of undefendable damage. Um, and then when you retrieve it, you put it back on your hero board and you get electrokinesis, which is right here. And then you cannot throw uh, the hammer at an opponent unless it is on your hero board. 
and you cannot retrieve it if it's already on your hero board. Well, that makes sense, right? <laughs> and then in a multiplayer game, which does not affect us. So let's go. Let me double check. I do believe that's collateral damage. Well, um, honestly, it, I'm not sure, but I know it's undefendable. So Loki cannot defend from it. So we're punching him in the face with the hammer and that causes one. So first damage inflicted because he cannot defend against that. So he's down to 34. Now the four damage that we're inflicting, he can defend from. So he looks over at his board, Loki, and he sees that he has a defensive ability. Loki has tipped the scale and he gets to roll one die. Okay, and he gets that symbol. So we look all the way down and it says on the black symbol, gain illusion, which is very powerful. Let's take a look at it. So with illusion, which has a stack limit of two, which means he can only have two illusion tokens on him at any given point. You see that it's a unique status effect and it says attempt to find Loki among his illusions. Begin the game with your three illusion cards set aside. A player with this token may spend it when being attacked. If spent, you present the three illusion cards to your opponent, face down in any order. You may suggest which card they should select. The attacker chooses any card and flip over the chosen card and resolve the text. This token may not be transferred by any means. So he does start with three illusion cards. They were set aside at the beginning of the game, and if you flip them, one of them is a fail, Loki prevents infinite incoming damage, one is a partial success, Loki prevents half incoming damage, round it up, Loki may spend another illusion, try again, <laughs> and there's one where the attacker succeeds and Loki prevents nothing, <laughs> and the attacker gains a bag of tricks, which is another one, Loki may spend another illusion, so yes, Loki makes it hard, you have to kind of guess in order to hit him. So you're gonna keep those cards, we're gonna put them right here. And he cannot use the illusion token now because he just got it, so he is getting hurt for all the damage uh, because the defensive die roll just gave him illusion. But we return his dice to him and then he's taking another four. Thor is up to a good start, he's gotten his opponent down to three. Okay. And that's the end of the attack phase. Now Thor gets another main phase where he can um, use cards to buy more upgrades. He can sell cards, but he has no more cards in his hand. So he is going to do nothing during his second main phase, which means we just go to the cleanup phase where if, if he had more than six cards, he had to discard down, getting, of course, CP selling his cards for mana. So effectively he did 5 damage, great. But now it's Loki's turn to get back and do some nastiness. So because Loki wasn't the first player, the second player, he does get to do the upkeep and the um, income phase. So he is going to gain one CP, putting him at three, and he also gets to draw a card. So he's gonna have another card in his hand. Now I think upgrading at the beginning of the game especially is pretty useful. So he's going to go ahead and spend two CP to uh, upgrade his, uh, what is it, Vex? Yes, instead of Vex 1, he's going to go to Vex 2. He's going to have one CP left. All right, is there anything else he wants to do that he can afford? He can afford this card. Actually, let's use his Vegas baby which I think is a card that is in most decks. It says roll one die and gain half the value as CP. Round it up. So let's see how much CP he can get. And this costs zero to use. So it's like free CP. He got a five. So round it up, that will be three because it will be 2.5. <laughs> so he got three CP and of course this gets discarded. I'm gonna keep his illusion cards over here so I don't wanna get confused <laughs> and think that they're in his hand. Okay, here we go. That's his discard pile. He got three CP, putting him up to four. And I like that because now he can use uh, some of his other cards. And if uh, this card lets him bring something back from his discard, part, card, uh, discard pile, it's kinda of like a reanimator card, as long as it costs two or less. And the card we just used costs zero, so he could bring that back, of course. It costs two CP to bring a zero card back into the, his hand. So I don't know if we want to do that for this card, but if we're ever in need of CP, uh, we know that we have that in the back of our uh, you know, plans. We can always just get more CP when needed. But I think that's it for his main phase. Uh, let's go ahead and roll for his attack. 
Okay, so he's got helmets, he's got he's got a variety, which is usually what you want to see. Let's see, actually, if he wanted to, I think he has confounded, because he has these two, and he has these two, so he's, he's matching there. Now, what I can do is I can kind of like set those aside, but see if I can get Actually, I want to be able to, I would have to sacrifice one of these because I also need that for Vilify. So, let's see, is there anything else that I might want to do that I might want to get closer? I don't think so. I think we're going to stop there and just do this. I mean, I'm reading some deal 7 damage. That cannot be bad, right? So, we're done rolling. We have two more rerolls that we didn't use. And what happens is if, if 4 it messes up with our hand in any way, he plays a card that says you need to reroll your die, for example. Uh, then we reroll our die, but we can use our two rerolls that we haven't used yet. So it's, if, if you can, it's good to keep those rerolls in your back pocket just in case your opponent messes with you. Of course, Thor has no cards in his hand, so Loki knows he's safe, but you know, it could happen. All right, so let's do this attack then. Inflict two spellbound and then deal seven damage, which is normal damage. So what are these spellbound things? Well, they're right here. You can have up to three in, in the, you know, a stack limit of three, so you can use up to three on an opponent, because this game you can play with multiple players. And what this does is an offensive ability cannot be used, cannot be rolled really. When you flick the place is token so that it covers the name of an opponent's offensive ability. It cannot cover the ultimate ability, which nobody ever rolls. A player with this token may not activate the offensive ability that is uh, covered by this token. A player who only has one offensive ability uncovered cannot be afflicted with this token. So you always have at least one thing that you can attack with. Remove this token at the conclusion of their offensive roll phase, and this token may, be, uh, may not be transferred. Okay. This, I don't, uh, there's no way for Thor, I don't think, to uh, defend against this, but just in case, let's have him do his defense roll. So right here, he's rolling four. Let's see what he gets. All right, he got two hammers. So if we look at his two hammers, and then he got a yellow and a red. So let's see what he got. For every two hammers, and by the way, if he had four hammers, he only gets to trigger this once. For every two hammers, uh, throw or retrieve the hammer. Okay, so we are retrieving our hammer. Remember, when we retrieve our hammer, we get some electrokinesis. So. We'll do that and we'll look at that one in a minute. And then, so we've done these. Moving right along, it looks like for uh, prevent two uh, times the amount of helmets we rolled. So we rolled uh, one helmet, so one times two, that's two damage. So we're preventing two damage. And then with this one, gain one times uh, the, number, the symbols electrokinesis. So we get another electrokinesis, which is great. I have to go look at what that does. Uh, so yeah, there is there is no preventing these. And out of the seven damage, Thor is only taking five because he prevented uh, two, which means that he's also going to be at thirty. He goes down to thirty, and then I think we're going to cover his. It says to cover the name, but I feel like it's easier if you cover the the rolls um, because then you don't even look at those rolls when you're actually when you're rolling so we're gonna cover that one and what else should we co cover we can't cover the ultima uh, what about chain lightning I covered the uh, uh, Odin force because he's got it upgraded this seems like it's not too hard to roll let's, let's cover that one so he cannot use those next turn now let's take a look at this electrokinesis what does it do boost abilities or spend to draw one card a player may spend three electrokinesis at any time to draw one card or there might be other abilities, other other skills that reference if you have electrokinesis, you do more damage, etc. etc. Alright, and we resolved Loki's attack. So we're good to go. We're back to Thor. Alright, Mr. Thor. Finally he gets uh, an income phase. So he's gonna go back, uh, he's gonna go up to one CP and he's gonna draw one card. I said he was good at drawing cards, he has no cards in his hand. But here we go. Uh, he needs to, let's see, this is uh, an instant action, so he can use it any time. Of course, it costs 2 CP, so he won't be able to use it anytime soon. But that's what I'm talking about. For 2 CP, he can draw 3 cards. And of course, that will let him 
throw the hammer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But right now, I don't. He doesn't have two CP. He doesn't have cards that he can sell. I think it's better if he holds on and uses it next turn. So he's going to go to his attack phase and see what he can roll. Okay, so thinking that uh, this guy has is, is trapped a few of his things, but you know what? He rolled like a champ, I think. Let's see. Am I right? He's got that yellow. He's got the hammer. And he's got these two. So we can do the, what is it called? Mighty Summon. And I think that's probably the best he's going to be able to do, given what he's rolled. He has uh, two, four, five, six. So he could try and roll a three to get the small straight. So let's compare the abilities and see which one we want to go for. Do we want to use that reroll? So uh, the Mighty Summon will gain him two guard breaks, which is another token he has, and heal him for two. If you have the hammer, uh, gain three electrokinesis, which will let him draw. That's perfect. Otherwise, uh, retrieve the hammer and to deal three collateral damage to the player you retrieved it from. Oh, well, it's too bad that we got the hammer back because three would be nice. But, you know, so that would be that. And then if we did get, uh, what, would we, what would we need? To three, right? Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. We would get a, a big strain, which would be our Thunderbolt. A large strain is what it's called. Thor, uh, throw or retrieve the hammer and gain two electrokinesis and then deal 10 damage. Okay. Well, I wouldn't mind either one. I wouldn't mind healing uh, because, you know, that would keep me <laughs> fighting a little longer. But I wouldn't mind inflicting 10 damage on my opponent. So, of course, he does have that illusion token, which means I might not be able to hit him at all. Uh, all right, so I'm going to try because there's I'm not doing anything with this die anyways. So let's see if we can get a 3. We have two chances of doing it. There's a 6, which is not going to help work. I also have to consider that Mr. Loki over here has cards in his hands, and he might make me re-roll. So, but, you know, let's just go for it. And I couldn't. So Mighty Summon it is. Now I have to tell Loki, Loki, I am going to do a Mighty Summon. Would you like to stop me somehow? And Loki says, I can't, uh, because this says change the value of one of your dice. So it cannot change the value of what I'm reading. It cannot change the value of Thor's dice. So, and this is just letting him reroll. So uh, there's nothing Loki can do. So we are going to have a summon. All right, so let's go over it again. Gain two guard breaks. What are guard breaks? Guard breaks are the tokens that are right up here. He's gaining two of those. And it says your attack becomes undefendable on one to three. If a player concludes their offensive roll phase, with an attack, they may spend this token and roll one die. If the outcome is one to three, it is undefendable. All right, so it just makes it so that Loki can't defend because right now this attack that is incoming, he will be able to defend. So we did that, gain two uh, ground break, and then we're going to heal. We're up to 32. And then moving along, if you have the hammer, gain three. I do have the hammer. So uh, in the back of the of this leaflet, it tells you some, uh, it answers some questions about the abilities. And because I read the back, I know that uh, he's getting three. He His stack limit is four. Um, he will gain those two. Uh, and then he can gain one more because he's getting three. And you can actually at any time spend these to draw cards. So what he's going to do it. He's going to spend three to draw a card. And then he's getting one more because he was missing that one. And then he's drawing another uh, upgrade for bottled lightning. Okay, and moving along. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you have, uh, no, so he does. So, so this doesn't happen because he did have it. So he's getting the uh, three electrokinesis. All right, and then that's the end. Actually, yeah, he didn't. He didn't hurt. He didn't hurt this guy at all. <laughs> So I guess uh, that's fine. Loki will keep his illusion token and maybe use it next turn. And that's the end of his offensive roll. So at the end of his offensive roll, he is getting rid of all of these things so he can use everything next turn unless Loki uses that ability again. All right, so we're back to Loki and we're going to go to five. We're going to draw a card. And it's outwit. 
but this is he needs to remove uh, one of these bag of tricks and he doesn't have any yet. So is there anything else he'd like to do with his cards? This just lets him bring something back from the graveyard. <laughs> if you play magic, you know what I mean? From the discard pile. Okay, so I guess we're just going to go rolling. All right, tons of helmet, a white and an orange. Uh, what can we do with that? We have two whites. We could confundle him again. As far as numbers, we have a bunch of threes. That's not going to help us much. Did get almost all of these. Just missing the black. So maybe we can try to vilify. We haven't used that one yet. So I'm going to reroll these two. All I need is that black. Okay, and I didn't get it. Didn't get a straight either. And I didn't get it. But I can use my reroll one more time. A uh, chosen player may perform an additional roll attempt of up to five dice during their offensive roll. And that is one TP. So, yes, we go down to four, but we get to try this black thing again. And we still didn't get it, which is a problem. I'm not going to lie, because now what are we going to do with this? We have to find something else to do. And, well, we can we can do antics. So at least there's something we can do. We cannot do that one because we're missing a yellow. We have one, two, three, and five, so we don't have any straights. So I think antics it is. All right, well, we haven't done antics be before, so at least you'll get to see that. So it says, uh, draw one card. Okay. No, oh, it's another upgrade. Uh, gain illusion. Don't mind if I do. And he's up to his limit. He can only have two. And then gain one bag of tricks, which we haven't seen yet. So let's take a look at bag of tricks. And again, it, it looks it, it looks like this turn nobody hit each other. Like Thor didn't do any damage to Loki, and Loki didn't do any damage to Thor. They're just being nice brothers for now. So bag of tricks. Roll and gain a surprise. Of course, he's all about that, huh? During their upkeep phase, a player with this token removes it and rolls one die. On one, you lose one CP. On two to five, Loki chooses whether the player heals two, gains one CP, or uh, receives two damage. On a six, gain two CP. So we're going to do, do that next turn. And also, i got to remember that I have this, which is free. But it's like an upgraded version of what we would do here. Because it lets you heal more and lets you get more CP, etc. So, and it's free. So... I've got that for next turn. But with that, he's finished. He could do another offense, uh, another main phase. And, you know, because he can, he's actually going to do it before I forget. So he's going to use his, uh, remove his bag of tricks because it says here he has to remove it. And then he's going to roll. And he got a five. So I can choose whether I gain three health, I gain three CP, or, re or uh, receive three damage. Well, I obviously don't want to receive the damage. But I will take the three health. Discard that and go to 33. Okay, and there's nothing else that he wants to do. Actually, I still have uh, CP. I could upgrade my Vilify too. So let's do that. It's 2 CP, but uh, you know what? I didn't get it this time, but I might get it next time. All right, Loki is finished. We go back to Thor. Thor is going to do his income phase. So there, and he gets another card. And now he can do a main phase. I think he likes the idea of draw, drawing cards. I'm going to sell this because throwing the hammer twice, I don't know if that's going to happen. And it'll get me one more CP. And I want to upgrade at some point. But this then, I'm only going to go down one because I would gain one. So I would gain one from the card I just threw it away. I mean, no, throw away, discard it. And then I go, I use uh, two CPs to draw three cards. One, that's another upgrade. Two, another upgrade. Oh my goodness. And another upgrade. So all upgrades. <laughs> okay. And uh, I got to say, now that this happened, uh, hammer three. Let's see. Have I upgraded that already? No, I haven't. Um, so if I don't have the level two, see how this is a, a level three, then I would have to pay uh, all the CP. But let's see if any of these... This will not apply. But let's say that I had my uh, that I found my confound uh, my old enforce three, 
and that it costs three CP to, to upgrade. I pay the difference because because I've already upgraded to level two. If I go to level three, I pay the difference between the two and the three. I don't pay full, full price for the third level. So that's something I want to point out in case we don't see it in this game. But with that, we're rolling for attack. So come on, four. All right. So he's got lightning. He's got hammers. He's got helmets. <laughs> I think we can do the mighty summon again. Is there anything else with this? We also have, uh, what number is this? Six. So no straight. I mean, we could try for bottle lightning. But mighty summon, I mean, mighty, the problem with mighty summon is not an attack. I want to attack. <laughs> I want to hit this guy. But we have two of these and one of these. We would need very specific things out of these lightning. Or we can try for lightning. We have two of them. We can try our bottled. Let's try that. Let's do let's do something adventure. So we need two more lightning. And we get it right away too. We only we have one more reroll if we need it. Oops. Oh, uh, so here we go. And uh, I'm just going to leave that there. Now, I tell Loki, Loki, <laughs> I am sending some lightning your way. Actually, we have one more reroll. One, two, three, four, five. What if we can ultimate? I've never been able to ultimate in this game, like ever. You know what? <laughs> I don't know if Loki has any defense, but I'm going to go for it. Wait a second, Loki. Let me, get, let me show you some more thunder. Nope, we didn't get it. All right. Yeah, I've never been able to ultimate. How long would it take me to ultimate? How many more? Nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> okay, you get the point. It's 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 really hard to to ultimate. Oh uh, nope, <laughs> nope. Yeah, we're not gonna stay here and do that. All right. So bottle lightning, Loki. You have anything you want to do? Uh, again, he can't. Uh, he's got that card that lets him bring something back from the dead, or he's got the uh, thing that can change his die. And now I wish I wouldn't have thrown away the card that I sold because I will be honest, I haven't played with them enough to really be familiar with all their abilities. Here at Bottle Lightning, the first thing it says, throw and retrieve the hammer up to two times. <laughs> so we could have used that card that said if you had thrown the hammer twice during this turn. The only, the only way you could use that card was if we had thrown the hammer twice. All right, so uh, we're going to throw it and then retrieve it. So boom and boom. When we retrieve it, we get two of these. And when we throw it, we hurt uh, undefendable damage. Loki gets hurt by one. So we did that. And that's undefendable, so I don't have to worry about it. Gain two guard breaks. By the way, we can use a guard break. We are we finish our... Uh, so yeah, we're going to use a guard break to make this undefendable. Sorry, Loki, but you cannot defend from this. Yeah, the hammer doesn't count as an attack, so his illusion wouldn't trigger yet. And this is undefendable, uh, but this is a unique token. I do think that he can use his illusion token. So he gained the, the guard break that he cannot stop. Then deal seven damage and uh, add one damage times the number of <laughs> that will be four more damage. Deal uh, one extra damage times electrokinesis tokens you got. Uh, so, but before we do all that, Loki's gonna say, "Wait, wait, wait! I'm going to use an illusion token. I am being attacked." No, maybe I'm not. And he's going to try to trick me. Now, if I was playing with someone else, that person, if Loki, could try and trick me and say, oh, you should pick this card. But since it's just me, I can't do that. So I'm just going to put them here and then have Thor pick a card. Ah, all right. Well, Thor is going to pick this one. And what does he get? Success! <laughs> Loki prevents zero incoming damage. Okay, so... And the attacker gains a bag of tricks. Here you go, sir. And Loki may spend another illusion. Uh, you know what? Do I want to? I, I, you know, I got them so quickly. Why not? Let's try it again. Thor, you're not done. You got a bag of tricks, and now you have to figure it out again. Well, this one worked out very well for us next time. So, But let's go for this one. And I get, ooh, partial success. So Loki prevents half the incoming damage. And he can spend another illusion token, but of course he doesn't have any more. So half the damage it is. So let's calculate how much that is. So, so far, uh, Thor is dealing seven damage. And then uh, one more damage for each electrokinesis token. So that's 11 damage. 
So because it's half, is it round up or round down? I don't remember. Round it up. So, okay. So out of 11, he's going to get six damage. Oops. I always do that. I always feel like that's the, um, what do you call it? The CP, the CP is a damage uh, counter. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's down to 26. All right. And I think that's it for Thor. Does he want to use his to um, draw a card? I think so. He's going to spend three of these to draw a card. And he gets another, another one of these. Well, he's got the three. So you know what? I'm going to discard this, because I can do it at any time, to throw the hammer at Loki. And that will give him one isolated source of undefendable damage. And it does say you can use it any time. So here you go, Mr. Loki. And that's another damage that is undefendable. All right, so we're back to Loki. He's going to gain a CP. He's going to draw a card. He gets another upgrade. All right, so he's up to three CP. Does he want to upgrade his Mockery? He really hasn't used it, but you know what? That is kind of like his basic attack. Um, I think so. Let's do it. Let's. I think upgrading is usually a good thing, right? Okay, he only has one left, so he's going to stop and he's going to roll for attack. Okay, three and two. If he had two and three, uh, two, oh, actually, he, he does have the confound all, and it's seven damage. Is there anything better that we can do? How about a straight? Nope, nothing close to a straight. So I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to... Use this ability again. So we're going to inflict two of these and then deal seven damage. Let's see how Thor defends. Thor is defending with four dice. Okay, we got a bunch of hammers, which, if I remember correctly, he needs two in order to retrieve his hammer. And when he retrieves it, does he get two? I think it's two. Uh, gain, when you retrieve, place it back on your hero board and gain, oh, it's only one. Okay, I'm glad I checked. So one, so he's up to two. And then his helmet is going to help him prevent two incoming damage. So Loki had seven, so it's only five. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty close game. And then Loki is going to decide where he's going to put these annoying things. <laughs> so it looks like Mighty Summon has been used quite frequently. <laughs> uh, what else has he been using? Let's go ahead and get rid of this Odin Force, only because it's, it's upgraded. And I think with that, he is done. Is there anything else he wants to do during his second main phase? I think that's it for him for now. He might want to get that card, but he doesn't have enough CP to do it, to get more CP, believe it or not. <laughs> Is there anything else cool that we can get? Outlaw. Uh, that, if we had a bag of tricks, might be cool. Oh, uh, no. Rerolling could be cool, too. So he does have some cool stuff in his discard pile. He just doesn't have enough CP to use it, although he could give up a card for that. But I think we're going to wait for now. Let's go back to Thor. He's going to get a CP. Put him back on two. He's going to draw a card, and he gets Power Trip, which costs one CP, draw one card, and gain two Electrokinesis. Oh, well, that's not bad. Uh, should we do it? We could also just use our CP to upgrade. We have so many things that could be upgraded right now. But if, if, if we get an Electrokinesis, we're, at two, we're on to two. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to spend one, gain another one, so I can draw at any time, really. And I'm also going to draw one card. And we get Invulnerability. Discard two Electrokinesis to prevent all incoming damage. Okay, well, you kind of glad I did that, because if Loki attacks me with a big attack, I can prevent all of it, because I have enough Electrokinesis to do it. So I won't draw with it. I'm keeping it to defend. All right, let's attack. Loki has a bag of, uh, Thor has a bag of tricks that Loki sent him. And this is resolved at the beginning of the phase. So I shouldn't have done all of that that I did. I apologize for that. Because it says during the upkeep phase, 
you roll. He got a six. So on a six, I gained two CP. Well, you know what? <laughs> and of course, with this card, it's okay. Uh, Loki, I don't mind that you send that my way. So we're up to three, actually, which is great, because that will let me use my card. And we can actually upgrade something else, but the problem is they all cost two, and then I won't have enough to use my invulnerability. So I'm going to wait and not upgrade anything right now. All right, let's roll for attack. All righty, we got hammers, hammers, hammers. One, two, three, four. We almost have a straight. We have one, two, three, four, six. Let's see. Uh, the only thing we have available to us is that. We have three and we have a lightning. All we need is one more lightning. Can we get one more lightning? <laughs> that is the question. Or should we go for, uh, for one of these? Because we do have one, two, three, four. Problem is, I have to I have to decide what I want to reroll. Uh, I think we can get another lightning. How many lightnings are in his? Only one. <laughs> ah, well, we're gonna try. We're going to try to use our uh, chain lightning. All right. Well, that wasn't it, but that could trigger that. And same thing. All right. So the best we're going to be able to do is we have four hammers which is going to deal five damage to um, Loki. He doesn't have any illusion. We will make it undefendable. So he cannot even roll for his nonsense. So he's down to 20. And I can discard one of my cards to throw that hammer at him. <laughs> do I want to do that? Let's see. Um, oh, and by the way, at the end of his offensive roll phase, all of these get discarded and go back to Loki. Hammered. I, I like that this kid goes all the way to three. My bottle lightning is over here. Okay, and you know what? I'm, I, I, I will never roll. I mean, I might. <laughs> but it's really hard. I have rolled it once, I think, this game. But I'm going to give it up to throw the hammer. My mighty summon I've been using. So it'd be nice to upgrade it. And my... Chain lightning, uh, I haven't been able to, I think I got it once. But yeah, I'm throwing the hammer because one damage, one undefendable damage is one undefendable damage. And we'll put him on 19. All right, Loki, what you got? Well, first of all, he's got a card. Another upgrade, oh, an upgrade to his defense. That's not bad. And a CP. All right, I think he will upgrade his defense. Because it's going to make help him do. Uh, oh, it's not his defense. His cards are all green, so it's kind of. But you know what? He just used this one. This one increases the damage by one, and it'll also give him another ability to use. So now he can use Liar's Gift if he gets just a bunch of helmets. All right, let's roll for attack. He's got a bunch of orange. <laughs> got antics. Does he want to use antics, though? Are they all fives? They're all fives. I'm going to try to vilify. I have almost everything. All I need is a white. So let's see if we can get a white. Well, that's not it. And there it is. Okay, there is a white. So... Yeah, no straights. All right, so uh, let's try... Vilify. Do you have something that can stop me? I can stop the damage, but I'm not going to tell him yet. <laughs> Inflict Spellbound. So only once. If any of your opponents have more health than you, gain Illusion and deal 8 damage. Nice. Uh, yeah, he has more health than me. So I gain an Illusion. And I am dealing 8 damage. I'm also covering something. Let's cover... Which one did he use? Does he use a lot? It looks like Mighty Summon. But of course, I have my powerful discard two electrokinesis to prevent all incoming damage. So that eight damage, I'm not gonna take it. I'm going to uh, what do I have to pay? I have to pay two, which is why I left them. And I also have to be expensive, but I mean preventing eight damage seems very good. 
So sorry, Loki, but I am not taking any damage. All right, and anything else in your face, main face, second main face? Well, he has zero CP, so unless he wants to sell some of these cards, uh, I guess he'll stay for now. Let's go back to Thor. Uh, let's give him a CP and a card. And he gets time to hammer. Retrieve the hammer and gain one CP and electrokinesis. Wow, well, you know what? I do need to retrieve my hammer, and this is free. So main phase, I'm retrieving this which gives me an electrokinesis. There we go. And then gain one CP, which I don't mind because I have a lot of things that I need to upgrade. And I also gain another electrokinesis, putting me up to three. I'm not gonna use them to draw right now because we might get an ability, uh, an attack that is increased by these little tokens. But I can upgrade these things during my second main phase, which of course, it'd be nice to upgrade them now because if I do attack with them, they will be more powerful. But I think it's worth Seeing what I'm doing with the electrokinesis, and also I can throw the hammer. A bunch of hammers, that's what I got, and one helmet. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we do have one, two, three, four. So we have our small straight. Let's see if we can get a. We either need, well, we need a five, really. Um, but if we don't get a 5, we can use our small straight, dealing 7 damage. <laughs> Let's try it. We got a 1, and we get a 5. Yes, we can. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ro uh, really, Thor has been rolling really good this game, I gotta say. All right, uh, large straight is right here. Uh, throw or retrieve the hammer, gain 2 electrokinesis, and then deal 10 damage. And he has no illusions. All right, so we're throwing the hammer which means he's taking a damage. Oh, no, he does have illusion. Okay, well, That might save his skin. Then gain two, which, again, we're going we're gonna to spend the three to draw one, and then we're gaining the two. There we go. And it's another <laughs> upgrade. I know there are other different cards in there. And then we're dealing 10 damage, Loki. Would you like to stop us? Yes, yes, I would like to stop you. I will use this and uh, because 10 damage will put him down to 8. All right. Which card would you like to pick? And Thor says, uh, well, this one worked last time, so let's do it. And boom. Yes. <laughs> okay. So he prevents 0, and Thor gains a bag of tricks, which hopefully I will remember to uh, roll for it before I do anything else. All right. So... He's down 10. Ouch. I wonder if he can still use his defensive. Uh, I don't think so because it says Loki prevents zero incoming damage. Yeah, he can't. He can't use both because he just upgraded it, didn't he? Oh, no, he upgraded the... Uh, I thought it was defensive because usually they're green. Loki's kind of different. Well, the border is green. You see how his border is green here. Okay, so 10. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right. Loki's down to 8. Thor gets a second main phase. He could upgrade any every, any of these, but I think I'm going to wait until next turn, see what card I get, and see how I want to spend my CP then. I also have to remember this back of tricks. Hopefully I do. All right, Loki, let's get you to one. Let's give you a card. Ah, it's a... Now, this is his defensive uh, upgrade. He has no illusion, so he might want to do that, but of course he doesn't have enough. I think... We can get rid of this one, because we haven't used it all, all game. I think I've had it from the beginning. To then go up to two, and then immediately go down to zero. So at least he has a little bit of defense, because he's only at eight. He's, although I don't think he prevents any damage. I think his stuff is just getting him by the tricks and illusion. But if he gets an illusion, he can maybe, maybe Thor will miss and will get a fail. All right, let's see what he can attack with. I also don't think there's any way for him to heal. I don't remember him having any healing abilities. Like Thor can heal for two if he uses uh, his mighty summon. Okay, but looking at what he got, it looks like we are good for the uh, Vilify. Am I right? He's got the yellow, he's got the white, he's got the orange, and he's got the black. Yep, so we can Vilify. So we're going to inflict Spellbound. 
And if your opponent has more health than you, which definitely Thor does, gain illusion, which is great, and uh, deal eight damage. Thor, do you want to do something about that? Well, his cards are not going to let him do anything about that. So all he can do is try and defend. So let's go ahead and try and defend, and then we'll assign everything. He's rolling four. Okay, he got two hammers. So with his two hammers, he could either um, throw or retrieve. He's going to retrieve. That gives him an electric knees, so he's ready to draw next turn. Uh, the helmet will prevent one of uh, two damage. I'm uh, not not one two damage. So we'll deal with that in a minute. And then the lightning gain one electric knees times lightning. So he would get he would get one. So I think I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna draw yet. I have a stack limit of four, so I'm good in case a powerful attack, you know, that needs electrokinesis uh, is rolled during his next turn. All right, so we're going to inflict one of these. What needs electrokinesis? Because I want to cover it up. <laughs> I know there's one that's uh, it's this one, so let's cover it. No, it's not this one. I know there's one that gets improved by electrokinesis. Gain. One, no, which one is it? I remember. Oh, and I forgot to take this off. Is it this one? Um, I don't remember. I don't see it. So many. Oh, here, it's this one. So that's the one we're going to cover. Because this is add one damage times electrokinesis. We don't want that. Okay. So we did that. And then we're dealing eight damage. Now, he prevented two. So that is six damage. So he's down to 21. Okay. And anything else that he'd like to do with zero CP, I don't think there's much he can do. <laughs> so it's going to go back to Thor. All right, Thor, all you have to do is inflict eight damage, and you're good to go. So he's going to get a CP. He's going to draw a card. That's going to help us decide what we're going to do. We get Vegas, baby. All right, well, roll one die and gain half the value of CP. We're definitely using that. That is free. Oof, and he gets three CP. Now we can upgrade stuff. All right, so what do we want to upgrade? Well, there's no point in uh, upgrading this one, but we don't have that one. But we could upgrade getting a large straight. I don't know if that's going to happen again. The Mighty Summon, though, it gives me something else. So let's upgrade the Mighty Summon. That cost me two. I like when they give you like another ability because that way you have less chances of failing with your with your rolls. What else do we need to do? We want to put this up to three. That costs just two CP. I think so. Uh, we will get this to hammer three. We really want to do a damage this turn. That's what we're looking for. All right. I think we're gonna stop there. I don't think we're gonna get that chain lightning. Um, yeah, that's not bad. But that will put us at 1 CP. I think I'm going to stop. Let's roll and see if we can do 8 damage. We got a ton of hammers, so I'm kind of glad that I uh, upgraded. If we can get one more hammer, we're dealing 8. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, again, the bag of tricks. You know what? Let's, let's, uh, that was my bad. All right, forget this roll. We're going to do the bag of tricks. So he got a 5. So on a 5, I believe Loki decides. On 2 to 5, Loki chooses whether the player heals 2, gains 1, or receives 2 damage. Of course, he's going to go for the 2 damage, and that is red. Uh, I believe that is unblockable. So we are going to go down to 19. All right, Loki is not going... Uh, he was at 21, yeah, 19. He's not going down without a fight. He is going to try and get this guy dead. All right, now we're going to roll. And whatever we roll before, I'm just going to ignore it. Let's do it again. Okay, so... Mighty Summon, but Mighty Summon doesn't inflict any damage. Well, it does inflict 4 damage. He does have Illusion. No, he doesn't. I thought he did. He does not. Um, 2, 
three, one, two, three, four. We would need a five to get that 10 damage deal. So I think we're going to go for that. If not, we have a small stray, which is seven damage. Wouldn't kill him, but, you know, I can just discard a card to get the last one. So it's a five. Oh, well, look at that. Thor, I'm telling you, you are rolling like a champ. So we are doing Thunderbolt. Would you like to prevent it somehow, Loki? <laughs> he wishes he could. He has no illusion. So I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this one. So first we're going to throw <laughs> our hammer. And that's one damage. Down to seven. And then, and that's of course undefendable. Uh, we're going to gain two electrokinesis, which of course we'll spend three first to draw. And then we'll gain two. And then we're dealing 10 damage. So Loki, go ahead and defend. So now he's rolling two for defense, a little bit better than before. All right, let's see what he got. He got a white. On a white, inflict spellbound. So we're going to inflict one of these. Do that in a minute. And then on an orange, draw one card. And he gets gain 2 CP. Getting paid, which is 2 CP for free. All right. But he can't play that now. Actually, can he? It is an instant. So yes, he could play it now. But let's see if he survives. How about that? And uh, if he does survive, we'll, we'll do that. Because I don't think he prevented any damage. Yeah, Loki's not going to survive this one. Thor is inflicting 10 damage. He's only at 7. So Thor, very thematically, has defeated his brother in battle. That's it. That is Marvel Dice Throne. Well, guys, there you have it. I know I started at a little bit less HP than the game tells you to, but I still think that it uh, gave you a very good idea of what the game plays like, what it feels like, how the turns go. And yeah, that's Marvel Dice Throne. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to follow us on social media. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, may you play more games.